Shahid is uh, it's essentially a propeller powered missile um, that can loiter for for a period because it has a it's just a propeller powered thing with some wings. Um, it's it's relatively dumb. It, it, it has GPS guidance. Uh, it will fly to a target point and uh, can then pick its angle of attack. So it'll circle until it gets to the right bearing that you've set, and then it can pop up and potentially dive. It's effective. It works and it's cheap. You either need a lot of bullets fired quite accurately uh, to hopefully hit a key component, uh, or you need something like air bursting ammunition. So this is one of the reasons why the German Gepard is very effective against them, because it has air bursting 30 millimeter ammunition and the radar will track it. In terms of self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, existing Ukrainian and Russian systems would be things like the, the older Shilka, the more modern Tunguska, and, and the, the, the wheeled Pansir. Um, Pansir in particular has had a lot of problems. It hasn't performed well in most places. But also Tunguska and Pansir do not uh, properly track Shahid. Uh, it's too slow that their, their, their Doppler gate on their radar doesn't really open that far. Shilka does track them, but it has issues with, with um, gun alignment. Western systems like Gepard are, are much, much more appreciated because they accurately track Shahid as well as cruise missiles and, of course, are hugely lethal against Russian aviation um, when they're flying low, which they are.